Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. It's a girl blessing, and in this tutorial, I will show you how to draft a lap coat. Okay, so I already folded the fabric into four. That is the front part of the fabric. You can see that it's extended with two and a half inches, and the other part is the back part of the fabric. So I'll go ahead to measure out the neckline, which I'll be using 2.5 inches. Okay that's for the neck width okay so for the neck depth for the back i'm going to be using one inch okay i'll be using one inch for the back and i'll be using two and a half inches for the front okay i'm making this for i think about a six year old boy okay so i don't want the neck to be too open right so this part I'm marking is serving for the front part while the upper one is serving as the back neckline okay so I went ahead to measure the back I mean to cut out the back neckline which we have over there okay so I also go ahead to measure the shoulder the shoulder to shoulder measurement starting from the center back okay then I went ahead to measure the arm hole which we have over there okay so i measure the same measurement we have for the shoulder and that other part so that we can cut out our arm hole and also give it a shoulder slant okay so after that i went ahead to mark out the neckline that we have for the front okay so you have something like a is not round and is not V. You can see what I have there. Just follow what I am cutting out. You can see what we have. It's not a complete V neckline. Then I cut out the shoulder slant. Then also I cut out the arm hole. Okay. After that, I went ahead to open up the side. Okay. This part I'm cutting out starts. As the side of the lap coats okay so lap coats are not usually fitted okay so now this is the sleeve I already have a tutorial on how to draft a basic sleeve so I didn't want to go too much or to repeat that I'll just link that in the description box now to draft a basic sleeve so right now we'll go ahead to the sewing part of the lap coats okay I just went ahead to mark out the front, I mean the right side and the wrong side on the fabric, okay? So I place them with the right side facing each other, okay? So I'll go ahead and sew the shoulder. After sewing the shoulder, this is the two and a half inches we have as the extra for the front piece. So I folded it back, okay? I folded it to the right side. You can see what I have just done. So I'll go ahead and sew that upper part like so so after sewing you can see i have sewn the upper part then i'll go ahead and turn it to the right side okay this is how it's going to be looking i'll go ahead and search the hem of that part so I to stop fraying because this if you have worked with a jampard fabric before you know it's a fabric that's usually frail okay so i'll go ahead now and place the sleeve Okay, I, I intend pl placing the sleeve before sewing the sides, okay? So I have marked out the center part of the sleeve. I'll go ahead and fold the hem of the sleeve like so. After folding, I'll place it on the armhole like so. So after placing the sleeve, this is what we have. Before joining the sides, we need to sew our pocket. So it will be easy for us to... To sew down, I've gone ahead to iron down the front part, the center front. You can see how neatly it's looking. So this is the pocket for the chest where you usually see pain. And I'll sew down in the middle to create two openings at that chest part. So I want to go ahead and mark out where I want to place the small pocket at the chest. I'm going ahead to cut it out. So the desired measurement that will be at the chest then this bigger one will be somewhere around the hip line 
okay it is below the waist down to the hip somewhere around below the waist down to the hip the two pockets will be there like this this is what we have so i'll just go ahead and sew it down okay i'll pin it down and go ahead and sew down on the both side of the front piece okay so after that i'll turn it over to the wrong side and sew the side seam okay you can see what i'm showing you after that i'll turn the hem part of the lap coat so this is what we have guys after doing all i have said i have to go ahead to weave that center front so that it's to stop fraying you can see the pocket are neatly placed you can see how beautiful it's looking already okay i've sewn the side seams as well you can see what we have and also the aim of the lap coat so the next thing we are going to do is to sew our collar and to sew the collar we'll be starting our measurement from the point where the sewing stops okay we'll, we'll measure all the way to the other end of the front piece where the initial sewing stops which we have 14 inches over there so i'll folded this fabric into two two equal parts i'll go ahead and measure what we have we have 14 divided by 2 that will give us 7 okay because i already folded this fabric into two okay so i'll go ahead and measure the width i don't want it to be more than two and a half to three inches we have seven over there and i added half an inch for the sewing allowance to sew the size same so i created a curve like so you can see what i have just done with my free hand i'll go ahead and cut it out all right so after that the next thing we are going to do now is to turn it to the wrong side of the fabric and sew the both end like so okay after sewing guys this is what we have i'll go ahead and give it a neat press okay our lab coat is almost ready so guys if you have watched this video to this point and you have not subscribed please subscribe okay and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back okay all right so the next thing we want to do now is to place our collar to the shoulder okay if you have been watching my video you know that if i want to place a collar to a shirt or to the to a neckline i always want to place from the wrong side okay so i went ahead to notch the remaining parts of that neckline you can see what i have just done so that i can place the neck the collar perfectly okay so i'll go ahead and sew from the wrong side I place the collar first from the wrong side so that when you want to sew on the right side it will you will be able to control your stitch and everything will be neatly sewn so I'll go ahead and pin it down before I take it to the sewing machine to sew down the collar okay so I'll also notch the other part of the neckline like so you can see how easy it is guys so I'll just pin down like so okay so after pinning down i'll go ahead and sew then after sewing this is what we have so the next thing is to push in every other thing all the allowances that are on the neckline you are going to push it in and use the remaining parts of the collar to cover it up then you sew down it's a neat sewing okay you can see the way i'm pinning it down that is what we are going to do all through to the neckline okay we're pushing all the allowances all the seam lines you're pushing all the seam line then you cover with the other part of the collar then you sew down okay So this is what we have. So I'll go ahead and sew down. After sewing, guys, this is what we have. You can see how the collar is looking perfectly on the lap coat. 
have iron it neat ironing you can see everything completely sewn okay so the next thing you want to do now is to open up the neckline with your iron then you notch down where you want your button to come up okay so this is a lap coat on the little boy i made it for you can see how beautiful he's looking on him <laughs> so thank you so much guys for watching don't forget to like and share and i'll see you in my next video bye